All right. So Joe Biden did an event yesterday where he spoke about Donald Trump's nomination of Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court to replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg. We already looked at clips from the nomination ceremony on Saturday that Donald Trump held at the White House. And at this event, Joe Biden also took questions from the media. Now, as all of you know, I don't agree with Joe Biden on every policy or nearly every policy, but in some places I think Joe Biden has put together some pretty reasonable platforms, which I would love to see made a reality if he becomes president. But Joe Biden yesterday did something really well, which is that he refused to play Donald Trump's games and he refused to play some of the games that the media gets Donald Trump to play. But Joe Biden wasn't going to go for it because Joe Biden was asked in light of Trump's Supreme Court nominee. Uh, and the nomination being so hypocritical, given that Republicans in 2016 said, oh, we don't confirm justices in the last year of a term. And now with 40 days to go, they want to confirm a Supreme Court justice in light of that hypocrisy. A question that has come up is whether Joe Biden will try to pack the Supreme Court if he wins. Should Democrats try to pack the Supreme Court? Now, packing the Supreme Court is essentially expanding the court. You add justices. So if Donald Trump gets Amy Coney Barrett confirmed, you would have a Supreme Court that leans six to three in the direction of conservatives. Joe Biden could add four seats to the Supreme Court. That would make it a 13 justice court instead of nine. And he could appoint left wing justices to those four new seats, taking control of the court back, making it a seven six liberal majority. Now, of course, this is hugely controversial. It's a major issue. It is a non starter if Joe Biden doesn't win and it doesn't happen in conjunction with Democrats taking the Senate. But the great thing Joe Biden does is he realizes that whether he says yes or no, it's trouble and he's not going to play the game with the reporter and he keeps the focus on the now. Take a look at how Joe Biden handled this. <laughs> he's almost. No, I have no comment. Yes. I am not and I, I, I know you're going to be upset with my answer, but what I'm not going to do is play the Trump game, which is a good game he plays. Take your eye off the issue before us. If I were to say yes or no to that, that becomes a big issue. That's the headline here. I am focused on one thing right now, and I really mean it. I'm focused on making sure the American people understand that they're being cut out of this process they're entitled to be part of, and the cut out of design in order to take away the ACA and your health care in the midst of a pandemic. That's the focus. That's what it's on. And that's the deal. Thank you all so very, very much. Thank you. So tomorrow we're going to look at a clip of Dr. Jill Biden handling a sort of bogus direction during a CNN interview. But Joe Biden doing the right thing here. Joe Biden is correctly identifying that you can't win with that question. If Joe Biden says, yes, I will consider packing the court or I will definitely try to pack the court. The right goes crazy and calls Biden an authoritarian and a fascist and all the things that Donald Trump actually wants to be. If Joe Biden says, yes, I will pack the court. Those on the left who think it's a, a bad idea, that it's a divisive idea, they will get mad at Joe Biden. And then if Joe Biden says, no, I won't consider packing the court. Those on the left who want him to pack the court will say this is why the Dems lose. They're weak. They give in. They won't ever do what they need to do. So Joe Biden correctly points out. Right now, Donald Trump is trying to get Amy Coney Barrett confirmed. She wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. She's very much against Roe v. Wade, period. That's the issue right now. And this is something that I, I guess we've become kind of desensitized or not decent. We've we've I am resensitized to when an elected official properly handles a bad question or a poorly framed question, because with the Trump administration, it's either Trump's asked a question and he just talks about something totally different or Trump is asked a question and he lies. 
But this is actually how you handle some of these questions that have no possible upside. Now, earlier in the event, Joe Biden also made it very clear. And I think that this goes to 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 something that's astute that Biden and his campaign are doing right now. Joe Biden makes clear that what Donald Trump is doing on the Supreme Court is outrageous and that at the core of it is wanting to dismantle a lot of this policy, including the Affordable Care Act. Take a look. Shortly before Justice Ginsburg's passed, she uh, she told her granddaughter, and I quote, my most fervent wish is that I will not be replaced until a new president is installed. End of quote. It wasn't a personal request. It wasn't a favor being asked for. It was the last act of a long, unflinching career of standing up for American democracy. Never before in our nation's history has the Supreme Court justice been nominated and installed while a presidential election is already underway. It defies every precedent, every expectation of a nation where the people, the people are sovereign and the rule of law reigns. But yesterday, before Justice Ginsburg could be laid to rest and after a hundred thousands of Americans had already cast their ballots, the president nominated a successor to her seat. It's no mystery about what's happening here. President Trump was trying to throw out the Affordable Care Act. and He's been trying to do it for the last four years. The Republican Party has been trying to eliminate it for a decade. So I don't agree with Biden all the time on policy. I certainly don't agree with Biden all the time on strategy, but I think that this is logical. Keep the pressure on what they are trying to do right now rather than the hypotheticals. If Joe Biden wins, there's more than enough time for those hypotheticals. And when the hypotheticals might ingratiate you with some but alienate others, there's very little upside to going in that direction. What Joe Biden is trying to do here is to cement in the minds of the voters the stakes that are at play and that hopefully I'm hoping he will do that tomorrow night during the first presidential debate tomorrow, Tuesday, we will be starting live coverage of the first presidential debate between Donald Trump and Joseph R. Biden Jr. Uh, 8 30 p.m. Eastern time, 5 30 p.m. Pacific. We will be live on YouTube, live on Twitch and live on Facebook. I hope you will join me. This is precisely the correct messaging from Joe Biden. And, and by the way, as of now we're getting into just real nitty gritty policy. I still don't understand how repealing or gutting the Affordable Care Act without a real replacement plan, which Trump doesn't have days before an election. I don't even get how that's a winning strategy for Donald Trump. That's another story altogether. But they are again talking about how quickly can we get rid of the Affordable Care Act days before an election with no plan to replace it. You're going to try to get rid of it. I don't see how that's winning electoral strategy, but Donald Trump did win in 2016. So maybe he knows something I don't.